The Queen has racked up enough air miles in her time to make 42 trips around the world, but it can be revealed Her Majesty won't travel anywhere without some of her favorite home comforts. During her 64 years on the throne, the Queen has carried out more international trips, state visits and global tours than any other head of state. So if anyone has developed a coping strategy for jet lag, the Queen is your woman, insisting barley sugar boiled sweets are the answer. But the sugary treats aren't the only thing the Queen cannot travel without, and the list is quite surprising. Some of her travel habits seem fairly straightforward, and sensible, including a sizable entourage which typically runs to 34 people, handwritten itineraries that choreograph the visit down to the minute, and special loo roll. While the Queen always travels with at least three outfit changes a day, a black outfit also always makes the suitcase packing list. When the Queen's father King George VI died on February 6, 1952, she was in Kenya, and had to rush back to London. With just a floral dress with her to wear, her aircraft had to be grounded upon arrival until a black dress could be delivered, which she changed into before disembarking. But a number of more bizarre items also make the list, with a supply of her own blood being of particular note. A Royal Navy doctor also accompanies the Queen on tours, carrying a bulky medical bag with the mobile defibrillator. The Queen and the Prince of Wales also both have their own personal supply of blood in their convoy in countries, where a reliable source is questionable. And on a lighter note, the Queen is clearly partial to her own home comforts, as she also takes her own supply of Earl Grey tea, and a monogrammed kettle around the world, along with her favorite gin, and a hot water bottle, pine-scented soaps, framed family photos, and, bizarrely Harrods sausages also make the list. Having traveled to more than 130 countries, since she took the throne, she has visited a variety of countries, although shockingly never to Israel or Greece. Her travels have taken her some places more often than others, however, with Canada being the most visited destination. Since taking the throne, in 1952, she has been on a number of state visits to promote friendly relations with the UK. Her first state visit was to Norway, in June 1955, perhaps because she is the second cousin of King Harald V of Norway, who has been in power, since 1991.